All right guys, so today we're gonna to be installing a CPE rear motor mount for a Fiesta ST. Looks like that. What you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need a 13 mil deep, regular 13 mil, ratcheting wrench, um, some Loctite, uh, jack, block of wood, uh, and that should be it. And of course your regular jack and jack stands. We've already got the car up here. Yeah, so let's get to work. All right, guys, so as you can see here, there's only six bolts that we actually need to remove. I've went ahead and circled them for you. The next thing that we're gonna tackle is jacking up the actual transmission casing, and this is only for safety purposes. Mine didn't even really move around, but still you wanna do it just to be safe. So next you're gonna remove the four 13 mil bolts on here. Uh, these are gonna be on there pretty tight. If you have an impact, now is the time to grab it for these four bolts. On here, you can get this with a big breaker bar if you do not have an impact. This last bolt is a little long to get at with anything other than a regular spanner unless you got some stuff I don't have. and it literally falls right out. Cool. All right, now that we've got these two on the bench, you can see the major differences. This is all filled in really nice, um, and that's there. So you can tell by the parts, looking at the other one, exactly where they're gonna go. So our bracket right here is gonna go on the back side of this. This little washer right here is gonna go on the top side of this. And then uh, you're gonna put these two washers right here. All right, so pro tip. With this, you've got these two washers on each side of the fat side. You're not gonna be able to squeeze those in when it's in the car, so you just kind of press them in there, and then when you slide it up in there, they won't fall out. So you've got the long bolt going all the way through, the shorter bolt goes through here, and the rest of them are for the, the brackets. Do not forget to put red Loctite on these. And when you're installing this, do everything super loosely at first so you can still wiggle everything around and adjust them. All right, once you've loosely got everything on there, go ahead and just zip her down. We're not actually gonna torque it yet, though. So I just kinda lightly put those on there. This is a tiny little impact. So the torque spec on this is 52 foot-pounds. There. Oh, it looks like we're going to need a longer set. Uh -oh. For that last one, this is where your long ratchet's going to come out. So you see that black thing underneath there? Yeah. Uh, the new shiny thing? Yeah. That's what I put on. Oh, nice. Cool beans, right? Cool. All right, so as I'm finishing up this video here, basically the one thing you need to know is it is going to affect um, the vibration on the steering wheel. Uh, if you have an access port, what you need to do is ask your tuner to increase your idle RPM to like 900, 925 RPM. Uh, and the reason for that is when you kick the AC on, your steering wheel is gonna vibrate like if you don't. Um, 
So that being said, I don't think any motor mount for a stock car that doesn't have an access port is a good idea just to let you know. Um, it does make the shifts feel a lot better in the car having used it for about uh, two, three months now. I just didn't get a chance to get the video out. Um, but yeah, that's just my two cents. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I've got a lot more content to come very soon. I appreciate it. Cheers.